Hey, out there in slot car land, how's everybody doing this fine weekend? Hope everybody's doing well with the the way the world's going right now. It's it's insane that there's freaking what's going on right now. It's just crazy. But um, <clears throat> hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Um, just keep on doing what you're doing, and and we'll uh, we'll all get through this and and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all the fray action. I'm sorry that we didn't get a lot of things that I wanted to get. Um, we had some stuff that, um, with the time and all that kind of stuff, and, um, RC really wanted to do the interview for Wizard and all that kind of stuff, but it, it just didn't come to fruition, so hopefully, hopefully next time, um, we'll be, we'll get there and we'll get that. I'm sorry about some of the, uh, live stuff that was done with the way the, the, with the reception in the hall and how grainy some of those videos are and the, the all that kind of stuff i think we're just gonna have to forego the live stuff and just tape it and upload it immediately right then and there with my phone and whatnot to make everything look um like the like the a and b mains did uh, that's how i did that one so i'm also sorry that we lost elijah's um elijah's run up through um he uh qualified in the k uh won the k I mean, went all the way to the H and just barely missed getting out of the H um, to make it up to the to the next race. So um, it, it it would have been the uh, A B C D E F G would have been the G main. So if he would have had a little better qualifying time, I think he would have been a little higher. But um, all that stuff. So sorry about not losing that. My phone ran out of space, and that's I did it on my phone. It ran out of space, so it couldn't upload it, and it was just craziness so i'm sorry i forget i lost that i'm sorry i lost that i would love to have had that video for elijah to look at but we kind of lost that so but uh all that kind of stuff so i'm sorry about all that but we did a good job i think everybody liked the content that we brought you guys from the fray looking forward to doing it again next year and um made some new friends and got to visit with some old ones and just had a great old time so um, this week we're going to be doing a bi-weekly feature car since we had all that fray stuff last week and then um, next weekend we'll be doing um, we'll be do we'll be back on the uh, super 2 project we're going to be turning the wheels up there and doing maybe doing some little dyno work uh, doing some magnet changes and everything and seeing you know, what kind of uh, performance we can get out of the chassis and stuff on the dyno and um, we'll be doing that but uh, let me get set up here and we'll take a look at this week's bi-weekly feature car all right, so this week, bi-weekly featured car comes from a subscriber. Um, we talked when I mentioned about um, being able to get all the chassis that um, Aurora made and all the variations and all that kind of stuff. I wanted one working chassis of each one. He said that he had the lighted police car chassis, and they would be willing me to send me one. I'm like, cool, that, that'd be nice. Yeah, thanks. And I told him anything you ever needed parts-wise or anything. I could see what I could do for him and all that kind of stuff. But when it arrived... He sent it with a body, which I didn't expect, and I thought it was really, really cool. So we're going to take a look at that, and it is the police car with the, the working roof lights on it. Very, very cool. This is a Chevy Caprice, I believe. Um, this is the police car version. There is also a state patrol version of this car as well. Um, but very very cool the lights work everything works on it so it's a working chassis which is really really cool and i thanked him very much for sending the body along with it so i thought i would feature that as this week's bi-weekly featured car very cool so there's several different versions of this car like i said there's that state patrol car those are the two u.s versions there is a couple of canadian released uh canadian mounted state patrol versions of this car as well so i think there's I think I saw like four different versions of this car on eBay today. So quite a few to choose from. They all have, to my knowledge, they all have the working lights on the roof. And, um, and, and so they're all the same chassis underneath the car and they all have the working lights, but they're just different bodies. So really cool, really nice car. He's, this one's in very good shape. I was very surprised when he sent the body along with it. And I'd like to thank him for that. So very cool. So, there is a few of these on eBay right now. Um, there is two of the, the State Patrol one, which is... We'll click on the picture here and I'll show you guys, which is that one right there. That's what the State Patrol one looks like. 
Um, there's two of those, one for 36 with eight bids, one that is pre-owned for 45 with no bids on it right now. Um, then there is this one here, which is this car here for 2050 with two bids. So it's still going with a day and five hours left. And then there's these three listed here that are all buy it now uh, for 35, 45, and 45. So it is kind of a spendy chassis. They are hard to come by. The body alone is kind of hard to come by in good shape. There's this one here for $8.99 buy it now, but it, I looked at it. It's not in very, it's not in very good shape for that kind of price so if you guys want to mint one probably going to have to buy the car whole to get it uh, this is the canadian one this is the canadian royal mounted police car so that's the canadian version and then i saw i thought i saw another one that was another canadian version this one right here which is the same car so there's as you can see, there's that car's really sought after. There's a hundred and ninety-eight dollar car right there with thirty-nine bids on it, so pretty steep right there. So this car is a little spendy to pick up on eBay, and the bodies are hard to find by themselves if you've already got the chassis. So kind of hard. All right, so that's this week's bi-weekly feature car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys like it and everything. So I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Um, don't forget next week we'll be back on the Super 2 project, chewing up those wheels, uh, chewing up the tires, getting them all sanded and everything. I'll show you how we do that. Maybe do a little dyno work, do some magnet swaps, see if we can't uh, get a little more performance out of the car. I've got like four sets of Super 2 magnets so we can inter swap magnets and stuff and see what we can come up with on the dyno. We'll get a dyno reading of what's in it now and then we will maybe do some magnet swaps, see if we can't get a better reading on the dyno with the car and um, just do all kinds of cool stuff. So I hope you guys have a great week. And remember, keep the wheels on the downside. Keep that pin in the slot. Keep racing slot cars. Keep yourself safe in this hysteria it's moment we're in right now. And everybody will come out okay. And I'll see you guys next week with the next episode. I'm out. Bye.